Welcome and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Russia's Victory Day celebration this week marking the Soviet Union's defeat of Nazi Germany in World War II may not have seemed restrained with its columns of troops standing to attention marching under the tricolor, but it was a muted display. The Kremlin decided to forego the traditional flyover of warplanes. The parade featured only one tank. More than 20 cities canceled their ceremonies. National March honoring veterans were scrapped. Officials cite security concerns as the reason for the paired back events, but President Putin might also have been unwilling to ostentatiously celebrate a 78 year old victory when the current news from the Ukrainian front is bleak. Estimates say that as many as 200,000 Russian troops have been killed or wounded. Many troops on the front line lack proper supplies, and Ukrainian counter-offensive looms. A terrifying reality that seems to emerge from this picture is that Putin, a man who started biggest land war since World War II, a man whose policies are nothing short of extreme in the eyes of the world, is far less radical than the warmongering elite in his own country. Clearly Russia is at verge of biggest defeat. И нравственных свершений. Мы гордимся участниками специальной военной операции, всеми, кто сражается на передовой, кто под огнём обеспечивает фронт, спасает раненых. Нет сейчас важнее дела, чем ваша боевая работа.